you thought only IT entrepreneurs started their businesses in a garage, well, meet the exec dubbed India's richest self-made woman, founder of the drug company Biocon. I call myself an accidental entrepreneur. At just 25, with a degree in beer making, she started Biocon, which today is valued at more than $800 million. It has taken me over 30 years to get from a garage to the huge campus that we have today. It's been a long journey, it's been a very exciting journey. With what amounts to less than 200 US dollars today, she helped pioneer the biotechnology sector in India and charted a new course for women in business. I have never let gender get in my way of doing what I wanted to. As chairman and managing director of Biocon, she leads a company that conducts research and manufactures generic drugs and components, partnering with global pharmaceutical companies such as Bristol Myers Squibb and Mylan. But for her, it's about more than just business. So what, you're brave, huh? Tumba brave there. This businesswoman and philanthropist is Karen Mazumda Shaw. Bangalore, India, is considered among the world's top business centers, often referred to as India's Silicon Valley. It's here Kiran Shaw started Biocon. The town she grew up in became the setting for her vision. I wanted to make sure that we created a research uh, environment for scientists because we, at that time, were facing a very strong brain drain of scientists and engineers from India. The year was 1978. I couldn't get anyone to lend me any money, leave alone invest in my venture. I started up my uh, company in a garage. And, you know, a garage was not exactly the best kind of office address to have. Shaw eventually found a backer when an Irish businessman looking to expand his holdings helped her start Biocon in India. Today, Shaw heads a company considered a premier healthcare firm with more than 6,000 employees researching and developing medicines to fight cancer and diabetes, amongst other ailments. Biocon is the fastest growing insulin company in India. All of this started using concepts Kieran Shaw learned making yeast for beer. So that's how I sort of stayed connected with my uh, original expertise in brewing. Shaw says it's also important to use her expertise and resources to help those in need. On this day, we're with her as she heads to a low-cost cancer hospital she founded in 2009. And I felt that cancer was one area that needs to save. Cancer treatment is so expensive uh, and very few people can afford cancer treatment anywhere in the world. A large portion of healthcare costs in India are paid out of pocket by patients, a major financial hardship for the poor. Uh, India is a country where 80% of healthcare spend is out of pocket. And therefore, when we talk about the right to healthcare, we don't even have the vestiges of a decent healthcare system. It's not about uh, affluence or poverty. I think every cancer patient needs to be dealt with in a very caring way, with sensitivity, with a sense of compassion. And I think this hospital provides that. In the coming weeks, you'll find out more about Kiran Shaw, including her commitment to education.